partner, let's talk tips and tricks for using your spot-on GPS fence collar with your Livestock Guardian dog. First, you'll need your collar and a lead. Then call your Livestock Guardian dog over and let's get started with some training. It's a great idea to make sure that your Livestock Guardian dog is calm whenever you do the training. A calm dog is more receptive and will listen a lot better. Some dogs do need some off training time with the collar to get used to the sensation of wearing a collar. Adjust the collar based on your dog's neck size. You want the contacts to be snug against the dog's skin in order to have a really good fit. Once your collar is fit to the proper size, make sure to split your LGD's fur so that the contacts on the collar are snug against its skin. This is helpful for any double-coated breed or dogs that just have a lot of fur. Again, super important to double check that the contacts are snug against the skin and to make sure that the receiver is pointing up so that there is no issues with satellite connection. Always a good idea to praise your dog lots during the process. Have fun with it. Give your dog a bit of free time roaming around before you get started on training. Sit. Until your dog is completely receptive to the collar, make sure that all training is done while on lead so that you're able to correct any behavior that's unwanted here. While training, pick a cue that your dog will be receptive to. For us, it's uh-uh. Uh-uh means we turn around and head back. It's great if you can choose a cue that is something that you're already using in regular training. Make sure that your dog knows that this cue means that their attention needs to be on you. Use that focus and redirect your dog. If needed, you can give a slight tug on the lead. Let the dog find the boundary on its own. Do not pull them towards the boundary in order to trick them. Livestock guardian dogs are extremely, extremely smart and they will catch on to this very quickly. Keep your training sessions short and make sure to always, always praise your dog. Training depends on your dog. It might take one session, it might take 30. Take your time, enjoy the process with them and make sure that they completely grasp it before you give them free reign. <laughs> 